everybody. Welcome to another episode of About 30 Minutes, the podcast all about Tuscarawas County, the folks who live here, the businesses, and the life that is Tuscarawas County. We have Giovanni with us today. Greetings. How's it going? Oh, I, I am spectacular. How are you doing today? Another great day. Uh, there we go. And you know what? And that's a good, positive attitude to start with. Now, we were, this is, we've known each other for a grand total of, I think, about 10 minutes now. Yeah. So um, we're really, we were told about you here at the podcast um, by a mutual friend, and she she is absolutely fascinated by your story here. So now let's let's do kind of the up-to-dates, the, the currents. You are 20, 27. 27 years old. Okay. And how long have you lived in Tuscarawas County? Oh, man. Uh, going on 14 years. 14, yeah. 14 years. So you've been here for a while. Yeah. I've okay. Been where, did you, where did you go? Where did you go to school? Dover. You went to Dover? Yeah. Okay. Um, so did I. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, now you are currently employed at? Provia. And your official title there? Uh, design engineer. So I'm part of the design team. Okay. So there's usually two groups that ME and the design. So I'm okay. part of that. So, but engineering. Now, where, where did you go to? Where did you get your engineering degree? Kent State was graduate. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Kent State graduate. <laughs> Me right. too. There we go. <laughs> so, where we've got. Look at how much we've got in common. Yeah. Now, this is all. You know, none of this would be very surprising. But I mean, the story coming behind this. You came here. You came here those fourteen years ago. So you were just going into your teenage years. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your success story, how you got here and what you did and and how you got to where you are. Oh, I came here when I was 15, uh, 14, okay. 2010. Mm -hmm. And my parents were uh, already living here and my siblings and I were living in Guatemala. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I didn't know anything about the US. <laughs> okay, absolutely <laughs> I mean, like, nothing. Okay. I I used to watch like movies like Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, and that, that's your vision of the United and States. Like, that's <laughs> my version of the US. Like okay. that's so that's how I I used to watch um Sack and Cody. It's an American <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> that's like that's, that's just, awesome. Like, my okay. Vision on how the that's just how I imagined the US and yeah. like, it was just fascinating. I, I just wanted to um, be here and experience that life and and yeah. So, so, um, now let me clarify here for for stars not to, not to interrupt you, but how many? We were talking about this right before we went on. How many siblings? Seven. Seven <laughs> kids. Seven of us. No wait, there's seven of you total in the family. Yeah, okay, seven. and mom and dad had already come here. Yeah. So who were you? Who were you staying with uh, in, my, in Guatemala at the time? Aunt. Your aunts. Okay. Yeah. So what was the process? I mean. Starting there and saying, okay, mom and dad are already there, and I'm assuming they were finding some success. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, what, yes. Can I ask what they were doing? Yeah. Uh, my my mom was babysitting. Uh -huh. She um, babysit and babysat. Uh -huh. um, and my father works in like a chicken plant. Okay. Uh, okay. Case farm. Case farms. And, okay. Uh, well, originally, I think he came to Florida mm -hmm. and then um, – I think uh, there was some conflicts of like not finding jobs there. And sure. That, um, there's some recruitment that mm -hmm. happened here in, in Ohio, mm -hmm. and so he eventually moved to to Ohio, and and eventually my mom came and mm -hmm. followed and. Yeah, that's how they ended up. <laughs> and, I mean, and and ultimately we're looking at the pursuit of better life. Yes. Okay. Now. So they're already here, and you decide that you're gonna. Now, were you the first of the of the kids to come uh, to come in? Yeah, I'm the okay. first one. Okay, okay. Give. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> as simple as you can. Give me the give me the lowdown on what that took to get here. Oh man, it was. Uh, well, it was difficult to mm -hmm. um, leave my siblings behind, and I was excited to see my parents. Mm -hmm. Excited to. Uh, visit uh, this country, move to this country. And uh, yeah, it's just, it took a lot of planning and, and you know, it's just, 
it's just uh it's a hard experience for like a young yeah uh teenager to kind of leave that life behind mm -hmm. and it's just like a you know what do i do do i right but i sometimes mean sometimes you're forced to uh to leave so yeah that's, that's what um what my case was i was forced to leave the the, the country mm -hmm. and now were you on your own coming over here i mean did yeah. you have you know, I, again, I've never experienced mm -hmm. anything like this before. So it was essentially, you came over, did you have connections along the way? People that uh, you could meet well, it's, with? Uh, my, my parents were over here. So right. that, that was my uh, uh, biggest connection. And, uh, you know, is, even though they were already here, I just was afraid to, you know, like I was going to this unknown place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just... <laughs> what, what was your first because I'm curious now with the with yeah. the with your experience of seeing America on television and then oh. coming here what was the what was the experience when you first you're like okay I'm in the United States and it was nothing like what you saw on TV I'm assuming or I mean it was but it wasn't well, uh, <laughs> well the first thing that it was um it's just like the buildings yeah like I, I was not used to that like, huge ask uh, skyscrapers yeah and like um when I, i've seen it like you know, for example in home alone and sure like when they go to central park and yeah like i just but like just seeing it in real life is just it's amazing. a step back isn't it's it like, it's really it's really something just takes my breath away and uh, <laughs> <laughs> i i feel like i i was like in a dream i just I, it was just different like um people I was seeing, um, it's just a, a different experience. And uh, my parents told me that I had to go to school and I was really nervous. That was my next question. What was it like to go in? <laughs> so I'm assuming, did you end up at uh, Dover Middle School? Yeah. I okay. Did. All right. Can I ask you who your teachers were? Yeah. Um, the first, uh, well, it was like a summer school. because. Oh, I uh, see. Okay. So, I started in the summer, and um, the first teacher I had is Amy Harris. Okay. Which is, she's one of my biggest mentors, and she's one of my, the reasons um, I came this far. Uh-huh. And so, anyways, she she was the first uh, lady I met. She was a really, sh she's a really short lady, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I, which okay. I was glad because I felt so small. And, <laughs> so, anyways, she just had this like great smile, like uh -huh. just inviting. She just felt like, like I don't know, a friend that you've yeah. known for. She a long wanted time. to help. And, yeah, she yeah. just she didn't speak Spanish, oh and my. I did. I didn't speak English, and it was just like, but I don't know. I just felt this connection, and she. There's just this warmth about her, and yeah. I felt welcome. But you know, I I was still nervous. You know, sure, I, I, the language was foreign to me. And, yeah. uh, it's just weird. It's just <laughs> now, how long did it take you to adapt to? Because you know, again, as as a guy who has spoken American English his entire life, it, I've been told that American English is one of the harder languages to speak because right. we have so much slang right. and so much weird stuff that we say. How tough was it? I mean, because I, I've got to say, I mean, you you sound like a native speaker. I mean, you really do. <laughs> I mean, and that's, you know, I mean, it's okay. That's that's great. But I mean, how long did it take to adapt to that and to be able to, well, to learn? Uh, I mean... Well, first of all, when I started um, school, like my self-esteem was really low and, and um, I was afraid and, um, you know, the reason, one of the reason I had uh, really low self-esteem is because I didn't learn to read till I was probably like um, 13 or 12. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and you know, in the U.S., here you have help if you have certain uh, learning um, disability or mm -hmm. like or like a mentor that would guide you. Like mm -hmm. in Guatemala, it's just completely different. If you don't make it, you just stay behind. So, yeah. So I was yeah. kind of scarred from that, and uh, I didn't really believe in myself that I 
that I had the ability to learn. Mm -hmm. And I that's kind of that was stuck in my mind for the longest time. And I don't know, I I just saw myself as lacking in um in education and so but um Amy just started introducing me to books and mm -hmm. videos and she was so welcoming and and the funny thing is like I say she didn't speak uh Spanish at all and mm -hmm. so I was forced to to talk to her and I enjoyed talking to her and she was forced to talk to me in Spanish uh in in English so it, we were just in this awkward uh situation where we didn't know like how to communicate. Well, so it, was but, like, it was a real trade off. I right. mean, because you both you had to you had a you had yeah. a goal yeah. of being educated, but at the same time, <laughs> two different languages. I right, mean, my and gosh. so that's that's what really elevated my my English. You know, uh -huh. I like during the summer that where I uh, spent time with her and she tutored me, and just having that conversation, mm -hmm. like I could. I could start to have conversational English. Mm -hmm. I could not read it or write it, but like I could, I could speak it a little bit. Yeah. Within like a summer. Right. And yeah, but yeah, it's I don't know like the grammatic like the rules for grammatics and yeah. all don't, that stuff. Don't worry, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people don't. So, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like during a summer, I started to have. Uh, conversational English. Yeah. I guess That's very now how was that how did that affect home life? Do you I mean I'm assuming mom and dad spoke exclusively Spanish. Have they um, learned English? Did you teach them English or was there No, a, my uh actually uh, my we are of like a Mayan descent in Guatemala. Okay. So my my native language is a Mayan um dialect and then um I had to learn Spanish in school. <laughs> so that's my second language. And and third is English. It's English. And oh so gosh. so they they we were at our home we spoke um Ishil, which is like the Mayan. Um, yeah, language. which which I've 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 had the experience of, of hearing. Yeah. <laughs> and my gosh, I mean I've it it's was different. we've done some work here at our mm -hmm. city and with um uh, multiple languages and right. audiences. In fact, we just did, um, there was a, a concert here in Philly uh, that was done for, um, oh my gosh, it was three languages. It was Spanish. And then what was the one that you said? It was? Uh, Ishil. Ishil. Yeah. And then there was one more. Quiche. It's probably one of the big. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now, do you, uh, can, can you do any of that? I mean, do you understand any of that? Uh, quiche, no. Quiche. Okay. My dad is actually um, Quiche. And my mom is Ishil. <laughs> and here you are. <laughs> and you got English and Spanish. And, and Ishil, oh, my so, gosh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, so, yeah, that's how that all started. So, so you make a connection then in middle school mm -hmm. and move on to high school. And what guided you towards the idea of what, what planted that seed where you go, you know what? I want to be an engineer and I want to go further with this i want to further my education what was the what was the starting point of something like oh, that? oh man just like even like the transition from middle school to high school uh -huh. I, I didn't know if i could make it like i didn't know if i could could um do the homework and the assignments that uh in high school i i, I felt like i wasn't prepared mm -hmm. and i i never dreamed that i would uh, graduate from high school and I remember one um, evening uh, I sat down with my mentor, Amy Harris, mm -hmm. and and she just, I, I just expressed my, uh, you know, that I'm worried to go. Anxiety. I, yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm not ready and, and I don't know what to do. And she just sat down with me and explained to me, you know, just do your best. I'll help you along the way. Mm -hmm. And you'll always have me. And, you know, just that those words stuck with me. And mm -hmm. that's what encouraged me to go to high school. And, um, yeah, I was 
I felt like I was just dropped. Well, I mean, really, I think that's not far from the truth. Yeah. You were. I mean, and it was really you were kind of plopped into the situation. Yeah, so and, yeah, I, so I never dreamed that I would graduate from high school, and it was tough, man. Oh like, yeah. <laughs> there were nights where I stay up five hours just oh. studying, and um, there I, I remember I took like this biology class and it's. This book is so thick. <laughs> and there I am trying to understand it, what it means. And oh my gosh, and, uh, she's like sat sits beside me, and we go over and, and like I just felt exhausted. And yeah. some like after school, like um, sometimes we would go out and I would see kids uh, on uh, uh, on bicycle in the park and. Like, mm -hmm. I wish I was doing that. Like, yeah. I wish I was um, yeah, see, that, having that was, fun. And, and that was a question. Was there any time for, yeah. for just, <laughs> I mean, fun stuff? Did you get to participate in any, did you do any after school extracurriculars like sports or um, music? Or I did, I uh, did soccer. Okay. Camp, uh, um, like during the summer I did. Oh, do, do okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, I remember Columbus crew came in and they had one, two of their guys, I think, and we did like a training night and I loved it. That's <laughs> it was cool. great. That's cool. So yeah, I I had a few. So but during school year I was mainly focused on my studies and I didn't have too much time doing other stuff. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, it's so But you made it. Yeah. You graduated. Yeah. Okay. And that's good. And then the next step. Yeah. So uh you were asking how um, was interested in becoming an engineer. Yeah, in college. I guess, you know, like, that. you know, like, I had survived middle school, survived high school. Now we're talking about college, <laughs> which in my wildest dream, I never thought that, you know, I would go to college. And so, uh, I don't know, I was just uh, researching online, and there are different, like, programs that you can go to and I just remember when I was uh, younger you know I we didn't have money f to buy toys and mm -hmm. my parents didn't have money so I would build my own toys from different scraps and yeah. uh, I, w I enjoy building like um, like house for my friends uh, like um, I, I just enjoy it building stuff with my yeah. hand and that yeah. it just can work right right it just clicked and i knew I, w I just wanted to i knew i wanted to become an engineer then. did you um so what just kind of backtracking here a little bit high school and really college i mean if you're going into engineer man that's that's a lot of math that's a lot of science <laughs> yeah it is. i struggle with math the whole way through school i mean it's just School, college, the whole thing. And I didn't I didn't learn math. I didn't I shouldn't say I didn't learn math. I didn't do math very well until I had to teach it. Because I was a teacher for 20 years and one of my first jobs was I was a long term sub with mathematics. Yeah. And I remember sitting there going, Okay, now I have to I have to show other people how to do this. I can do it, but I've got to sit down and figure it out. How am I gonna tell somebody else how to do it? Now being on the receiving end of that. If you, you're talking about struggling with a biology book and that kind of stuff and thinking, how in the world am I going to do this? <laughs> were, were numbers easier for you? Was math, I mean, was that one of your better subjects, I guess, is really the question. Was was math a little bit easier for you? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie and say yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not really. I, it's just, uh, it's hard, man. Like, it's, Yeah, it's, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I do find that, you know, when you teach it to someone else mm -hmm. like it just kind of clicks and right um, but yeah no i'm not that great with math it's just so what did you what if you could look at a favorite subject then in school whether that's whether that's middle school or high school or uh, college what what were your favorite subjects what did you enjoy what were the ones that you oh, really dug that you liked i i really like biology even though really? it made me cry you know <laughs> <laughs> you know it like, made me cry <laughs> and uh, okay the math uh, yeah math is great it's uh, it's great it's fascinating yeah it's just i think it's the people it depends who who 
teaches the subject sure. and how passionate they are about it. And I remember in um, Dover High School, I mm -hmm. had um, this prof uh, teacher, I think this is his name, Anthony Bogart. Um And man, he was just great. Like he would, he, he knew that I had challenges yeah. with math. Like I wasn't up to my, like I was probably behind my peers, mm -hmm. but like when he would do like extra credit, the problems are typically more difficult to get uh, extra credit. And he never left me out. He yeah. ex expected me to do that extra credit. And if I had trouble with it, he'll walk me through it. Uh, I just remember doing this um, extra credit. I think like it took like the whole sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like, problems just like one that. Oh yeah. yeah. And it took the, and when I was done, I was so proud of myself. And yeah. I just loved that feeling. That's and, great. And That's great. Just, I just love breaking it down, 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 down. So you get to the answer. Yeah. It's just, it is frustrating with like, but you rewarding, know, rewarding at the same yeah. at the same time. Um, so you've got this you've got this like of constructing, mm -hmm. and you know you 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 get through college. And did you stay exclusively at Kent Tuscarawas? Yeah. You did it all here. Well, I I actually took um, some college classes while I was still in high school. Oh, okay. See, now that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't available when I was in, yeah. when I was in high school. So. so that's how I made that transition. Okay. okay. So I took like probably nine hours or, or credit hours, mm -hmm. That, mm -hmm. and that just made like a smooth transition. I feel uh, when I was still in high school, and I would come down here and take some class, and then I just loved the environment and and. I just decided to stay. There is something cool about, I mean, and even as when I had to go back, when I was, you know, I would, one of the things that teachers have to do, you know, they have to go back every couple of years and, and renew their certificates. So we would have to go back to, to, to class. Mm -hmm. And I do have to, I have to agree with you on that. There is something, there's a, there's a definite separation between going to high school and then going to college or trade school or something like that. There's just a different feeling of, I, I found it was like easier to belong when you hit that college level. Cause you mm -hmm. could kind of find, you know, the people that you were ultimately going to go into classes with, you were all after the same goal. Yeah. So did you, did you make friends? Did you yeah, have some folks I, that, that you hung I, out with in college? Yeah. I um, met a few friends, great friends. That, mm -hmm. um, Derek um, is one of the first guys to come up to me and, welcome me and started joking around with me mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I just love this vibe and we've been friends since. That's and, awesome. Uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, when you go to, um, from high school to uh, college, it's just different environment, you know, like you're more like, you're just independent. Yeah. It's up to you if you do your work. You sink or swim. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> <laughs> it, it was kind of, it felt kind of weird, but like uh, the professors, I love the professors. Yeah. It's just like, you know, I just, I just felt proud of myself yeah. to, you know, I just didn't feel real to be among uh, the other um, students of different ages. Mm -hmm. They have different ideas and different schools uh, and, yeah, I just, I just love the environment. How did you manage to work your way to Provia? Where did that opportunity come from? <laughs> so, um, I actually just uh, started as an intern there. So, oh, okay. um, Amy, which is my biggest mentor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I have many, but um, her husband worked there. And I so see. that's how we had that. You had an in. And that's <laughs> yeah. and that's fine. Hey man, that's that's the way it works. Yeah, you know, and you know so, somebody. Yeah, I had an internship there and I was still going to the university and they were so flexible mm -hmm. uh, with my hours and and they were supportive of me and so you know it was great for me. So I took night classes and I went down at Provia and you know 
apply those different concepts that I learned. And mm-hmm. That was pretty cool too. Uh, um, so yeah, I eventually transitioned into full time there. Wow. Now, do you, is your degree, are you associates, bachelors? Uh, well, I did get, get my associates first and then my bachelor's. Then you got yeah. your bachelor's? Yeah. Are you going to go for master's? Do you think? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people have asked me that. I, I don't know. I, I think I'm pretty busy with different projects right now. So maybe in the future. Yeah. Like, um, I have different stuff going on right now. And yeah. I think kind of. School kind of left the scar. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a young, you, you're a young man. You've got time. Yeah. You know. So, with all this experience in such a short period of time, I mean, what kind of impact has Tuscross County left on you? What what how how do you feel about this place that you were kind of tossed into and you managed to succeed. I mean, what's, what is your, how, how do you feel about Tuscarawas County? Well, when I first came in, like I say, it, it's just kind of weird and, you know, to be in this place that you weren't born into mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you kind of feel like an outsider. But um, when I came here, man, I, had so many people that uh, believed in me Mm -hmm. and I had uh, so many mentors that uh, helped me along the way either at school or like after school activities Mm -hmm. Uh, I just felt welcome and you know I I just love that about this place you know Um, what I noticed is that if you work hard and you will want to be successful you want to work on yourself they um they love that the american um love uh, that concept of you know uh, helping yourself if you want to be successful right and we're there for you right you know and that that's what i <laughs> i love the people the place and i just love the location too yeah so like you're, I, gonna, you're gonna stick with us? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah. Um, I love the people, the area, uh, the location. I can go from like to Columbus, to Cleveland. Mm-hmm. It's just you're just in the middle, and yep. yeah, it's very. I think it's a great uh, place to raise family, and yeah. Have you, great can, I, can I ask if you started that idea? Yet? Or is that, <laughs> no. or is that you don't have to answer that if you don't want to? <laughs> uh, no, I, I <laughs> okay. actually have um, two younger siblings that I help raise. So that's oh, why, you know, the, uh, going to Dover Park or right. Duskarawas Park. Is, just is, is everybody here now? Is, is yeah. the whole family here mm-hmm. now? And everybody's yeah. kind of settled in? Mm-hmm. And Now, how, how old is the youngest, youngest uh, sibling? 12 and 12. Okay, so r- actually, right about the place where you were. Yeah, <laughs> and 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 how long have they, they were, been? They were born here. And oh, it's I just see. Like, okay, yeah, it's just different. Like when I see myself and uh, see the, see their life, it's just it's just very foreign. They ha- they don't have I, an idea of like <laughs> yeah. what my past life is, and yeah. it's just it's just pretty cool to make that comparison. But uh, yeah, this um, this area and the people, the education, it's just, that's what I love about it. Excellent, excellent. This place. Well, it's been about 30 minutes. So we're actually, I, I told you we'd go fast. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're just about out of time here, yeah. folks. We really hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this podcast. Remember, if you, there are episodes, uh, other episodes out there, if you haven't caught them yet, make sure you check those out. Um, Giovanni, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank I mean, you, really, I a great story. I mean, I wish we had more time. We could probably yeah. do an hour with you <laughs> yeah. and you know go through all the all the struggles and stuff. But yeah. man, what an inspiring story! Thank you so much for being thank with you. us. And folks, we hope you enjoyed this uh, this episode, and we'll see you again next time.